Hey everyone and welcome back to the single sim challenge in The Sims 4. So it's the weekend and early this morning Richard's ex-wife dropped Ashley off and Ashley is just going to spend the weekend here with the family. We'll see if Emmanuel spends any time with her because he actually has some other plans for this weekend because he got invited to a party actually at Lu Lucy's house. Lucy organized a dance party with all of her friends and she's invited everyone so Emmanuel of course is a part of them now that he's Lucy's boyfriend though he even though you know he's going to go ahead and go to that party with his friends he also would like to go out this evening and he actually has his scout meeting in less than an hour and I also saw that he had yes he has 20 minutes left to accomplish his resolution so unfortunately he didn't have the time to or actually he didn't focus as much as he would have liked to on his scouts badges and everything which kind of goes hand in hand with you know oh i think butter was afraid of the music can we calm her down cheer up but yeah that kind of goes hand in hand with how he's been behaving recently you know he's been focusing on his relationships on trying to get lucy and just do whatever he wants you know he feels rebellious but i think this is something that may that's probably going to change his mind you know in the future though, not right now, but this is definitely something that's going to, that he's going to remember because in some ways, you know, he let people down, but he also lets himself down by not focusing on what he wants to achieve in his life. So yeah, he's, you know, he's really sad, he's really upset, he needs some fun, but he's going to have some fun definitely at that party. And he also would like to spend some time with Evie and Lucas and talk to them about what's been going on with Lucy and also what's been going on in his life. He just doesn't want to be in this house, you know? Plus, you know, even though he likes Ashley just a little bit, I actually don't even know what is their relationship. Yes, they're not really friends, but he, you know, he likes her, but he doesn't really care that much about her. And there you go, he goes to the scouts meeting in a very strange outfit. What is that? Very sad. Failed resolution, yeah. Well, you had to focus a bit more on that. I know that I'm controlling you, but you could have just, I don't know, do other things than just be a rebellious teenager. So yeah, he would like to spend a bit more time with his friends and best friends and all that. So he actually asked Alison this morning. She said yes, but he had to be at home by 7. So we'll see if Emmanuel respects that and of course Alison is going to go to work right now so it's Richard who's going to be in charge of this and we'll have to see how things will go before Emmanuel goes out with Evie and Lucas. Uh, how is... oh actually he had some fun at the scouts just because he wasn't at the house I'm sure. So let's go use the bathrooms and he's going to yell at Richard. <laughs> I'd like to pretend... oh who is that? Oh that's the nanny. I love the fact that they're still very close friends but yeah, I'd like to imagine that it's actually because oh, he just saw his half-sister or stepsister sorry stepsister on the bathrooms but I'd like to imagine that Emmanuel is actually yelling at Richard because Richard just reminded him that he had to be at home by seven and Emmanuel is like I don't want to take anything from you you don't have to mock uncle adult you cannot say anything to me I do whatever I want I'm old enough to take care of myself. And yes, their relationship is definitely taking a hit, but that's fine. And now Richard is really angry and probably told Emmanuel, just get out of my way and be home by 7. <laughs> I think Emmanuel maybe could take a quick shower. I'm actually wondering... I would love for him to go on the jog with Butter, but a jog actually takes ages for the Sims and their dogs, so... We'll do that, we'll do that probably tomorrow. So I would like for Emmanuel to take a quick shower. Actually, you know what? Let's not take a shower. What is this? Oh, he wants to have a cry. No, first of all, you're going to change your outfit. Yes, there we go. Uh, let's go into this one. It's actually a very hot day, so he might actually need to be in his hot weather wear. But in any case, I want for you to go ahead and travel. Richard is so not in a good mood. He's also probably worried that Emmanuel is just not going to respect what he said. So we're going to go out with Evie and Lucas. So we have Lucas here and Evie and I love the fact that the two of them are actually in the Scouts Club. Oh, that's really cool. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and travel with these two and go to the park, I think. Emmanuel, Evie and Lucas just got to the park, though there was a beginning of a gathering which I didn't really want to happen. So because I don't want for... Oh, disband group. Well, actually, end the gathering. There you go. And what I'm going to do is 
add Evie and Lucas into a group so that they don't leave. There you go, action, add to group. And maybe the three of them could go... I guess, you know, they could go and sit together at this table because if we had the beginning of a gathering of the League of Adventures, Lucy would have come and I want for Emmanuel to spend some time with Evie, his best friend, and Lucas who I think... I don't know, I, I see Emmanuel and Lucas's relationship being very, very strong, you know? I need... I really want for the two of them to get even even closer than they, what they are right now. So he's going to tell an engaging story. Um, plan to start a food fight. Yeah, sure, let's do that. Because I also really w would like for Emmanuel to finally go to school on Monday. <laughs> I think it would be time for him to go to school. And we'll see if Evie will ask him to, to skip school. Even if it's not Evie, actually, I'm just going to take whoever wants to skip school. And let's have a deep conversation. Then he can propose a crazy scheme, maybe cr even crazier than planning a food fight with Evie. <laughs> and he also really needs to talk about Lucy to the two of them, especially to Evie. Though Evie, she she kind of sees through Emmanuel and what he really wants, and she sees she saw him change from who he was as a child, very sweet, very you know he cared about people, and now. He doesn't really seem to be the same, and she sees that, she probably told him that already, but... Emmanuel doesn't really want to listen to her, though he should, he should definitely listen to her, but you know, he's in his rebellious stage and nobody can really tell him what to do or how to behave. And Lucas, he kind of goes in the sense that Emmanuel is just... I, I, I see Lucas as if, you know, he liked Emmanuel because of what Emmanuel showed about himself. About himself. Like, Emmanuel tries to be the strong guy and Lucas, you can see that he kind of admires Emmanuel. This is actually the word that I was looking for. <laughs> Lucas admires Emmanuel and in some ways I think Lucas would like to be like Emmanuel. So there is this kind of hate-love relationship between the two of them. Are you going to eat that burger? This is disgusting. No, 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 don't eat that. You need to throw that away, actually. This is disgusting. Oh, Lucas is cloud gazing. It could have been cool, actually, if Emmanuel and Lucas cloud gazed. Maybe Evie told Lucas, you know what, leave us alone for a second. I need to tell my best friend how, what I truly think about him, because she probably knows what Emmanuel has in mind, that he's not really true with, with Lucy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, she probably knows that Emmanuel is not true and she wants to tell Lucy, she just doesn't really know if it's the right thing to do. Let's go and... S oh, Secret Scout's handshake. Because she doesn't want to betray her best friend by telling his girlfriend what he... what he's up to. Oh, he's embarrassed. Yes, I'm I'm sure that he told Lucy... Uh, not Lucy, Evie what he was doing or what he was planning on doing and Evie was just not happy with that. The Lucas, he's like, yay man, just do that. <laughs> I don't know if what I'm saying makes sense, you know, I'm trying to stay... I don't know, this is kind of a subject that makes me uncomfortable, I don't know if what I'm saying makes any sense, but anyway. He wants to tell the joke, so let's go and tell the joke to Lucas. I really want for the two of them to have a stronger relationship. Also, within an hour, I think, the party will start, so we'll have quite a bit of fun over there. And there you go, he's happy. Uh, he wants to schedule a date. Oh, who are you? Oh, this is Luna Villarreal. She's a young adult, though. Uh, let's go do a heartfelt compliment, and we could show off outfits. I'm sure that Emmanuel knows that... Lucas kind of admires him and this is probably something that Emmanuel likes, but he also really likes how genuine and how honest Lucas is, because I really see Lucas as being someone really honest and he doesn't know how to be mean. I really don't see Lucas much, I, I, you know, he doesn't know how to be mean, basically. And Emmanuel, in some ways, he sees himself in Lucas, but he sees himself when he was younger, you know, when he was this sweet little guy who just wanted for people around him to be happy, and now even though Emmanuel still wants for people to be happy around him, He's a bit more selfish, and I don't think this is a side of himself that he likes, but he also... He's changing and he doesn't really know how to behave anymore. He just wants to be rebellious, he just wants to be himself, and he just, he just wants to be listened to. And he doesn't think that if he, behave, if he behaved just like he did when he was younger, people would care about him, people would listen to him. So that's why I think he's behaving such like a... 
a butt, let's say. <laughs> And Evie, Evie, she definitely sees that, and she's not happy with it, but she doesn't want to... She, oh, it was like they were clapping in each, other, each other's hands, that was kind of funny. They actually live in the same town, so maybe... Maybe they're really close together, I don't know. But yeah, I think Evie, she's just really disappointed in him, but she wouldn't... She wouldn't break their relationship for nothing, you know, she loves him too much to leave him go, basically. But the party is about to begin, so let's go and start. So here we are at Lucy's house, uh, because this is her who throw that party. And she's living in Oasis Springs. This is just one of the base game houses. I thought it was just perfect for her family. She's, I think, an only child. But yeah, I've just made a quick, very, very quick and small renovation in some ways. I just added a speaker here and a bar right there. So this way we can have a good party. Though it's quite awkward that her parents are here, but let's just pretend that they're not and that Lucy has the house for herself. So let's go. Maybe we can hug her, though. I don't think Emmanuel would be romantic in front of everybody. He wants to keep his options open. So let's go. No, 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 no. What are you going to do? Is he going to sleep? No, you do not go and sleep. You hug your girlfriend in a friendly way, not in a romantic way at all. But I love the fact that we can actually see Emmanuel in his party outfit. I think he looks really cool, really great. So let's go and turn on to... I guess we could turn on to Electronica. This is not a station, a radio station that I actually listen to very often. So let's go and tell an unbelievable story to her. Uh, here we have Anna. I don't know why Anna is bold. And Evie is right here. They're apparently watching a movie. They're just very sweet teenagers and Emmanuel is right there just trying to be this rebellious teen and in some ways, you know, maybe he's going to feel like he doesn't fit in. And we have someone over there preparing some drinks. This is Tane Tala, Dwayne Tala, sorry. Tane also, who was the last child of the group, uh, aged up and he's now Tane over here. Yes, let's go and stay here. Uh, Tane over here, he's now a teenager. So everyone in the group is a teenager now. And Emmanuel learned that Anna is a geek. But Emmanuel, he would like to use this party to actually fool around with Lucy. This is definitely something that he wants to do. As we all know, and you know, he's been... He's had that in mind for quite a few parts now, so it's time for him to fool around with Lucy. A rave about growing up, definitely. And maybe we can also talk to Dwayne. Let's tell a joke about ducks, because Dwayne, he's kind of joining their clubs. I've seen him a few times in wherever Emmanuel was with his friends. <gasps> Curfew is about to start. Yes, he's already late, actually. He was supposed to be home at 7 and he's not even there. Probably Richard told Alison and now Alison is just reminding him that his full curfew is at 11, so he has to be home by 11 now. But will he? <laughs> I think we all know the answer to this. And then let's go... Oh, we have... we have Lilac here. We can show off outfits and we could also maybe dance. What are actually the activities that we have? Oh, I need to, to redo all of those. Uh, let me do that just very quickly. Alright, so I've set up some new rules for the club, so now they need to dance to be funny with the leagues, the League of Adventures members and be tell jokes also to the members of the club. And they also need to be mischievous to everyone. I was really thinking that this club was just a group of friends who were very close and didn't hesitate to be quite mischievous with other people sometimes and just make fun of people just because they could, you know? Maybe they are this popular popular club, I guess. I don't know. Let's go and lie about career, actually, to, to Lucy. So there you go, this is the evolution of the League of Adventures. Before they were just playing with kid toys and now they're being mischievous to everybody. So, yeah, okay, let's go and see. Maybe he can also tell an unbelievable story, or actually, you know what, maybe we can compliment her appearance. You know, it's not really, it, technically it's flirting, but maybe, you know, he can disguise this into just a normal compliment, but Lucy would know that he's just complimenting her on her appearance, like, she looks nice. And actually, this is not such a bad outfit, except for the hat, but maybe she's just trying to try something new. <laughs> I don't know, I should have actually given them a makeover, but I didn't take the time to, and they're going to age up in... Actually, when are they going to age up? In eight days. Yeah, I didn't really see the point of making all making them all over. 
I'll see that later, depending on who stays or not in the Let's Play, because Emmanuel is going to age up into a young adult, and so for now, all of his friends are friends that he has made in school. But when you grow up, sometimes you grow out of all the relationships that you had when you were when you were younger. So Emmanuel is actually quite hungry, so maybe we can go ahead and get some food. Let's have a quick meal. Let's have some chips. There you go. That'll be fine. And he really needs some fun, so maybe he can go ahead and listen to... Uh, where is the listen to? Listen to... Listen to Electronica and maybe he can tell some jokes to work on his fun need as well. Though he stinks. But you know, he's a teenager. Teenagers usually stink. <laughs> with all those hormones. Oh, let's tell an urban legend to... To Lucas, with whom he's actually best... Uh, not best friend, but good friends now. And I'm really happy to see that. There is also Alexander Goth. Do you know him? Uh, yeah, so let's go... We can lie about career to Alexander, who's also very tired. I mean, it's midnight. <gasps> he's breaking curfew again. His mother is really not going to be pleased with that. I wonder if she's still going to be up when we'll come when we'll go home. She's really uncomfortable. Richard is very, very angry, and Ashley, for some reason, is embarrassed. Maybe because she's hearing all of those conversation. Uh, about Emmanuel and she's just wondering, hey, well, my stepbrother is not the nicest guy, apparently, and I don't really know where to put myself now. <laughs> she just got into this house with a bunch of issues. Poor Ashley. I would love also maybe for him to just be alone with Lucy. Alright, it's a little bit later and Emmanuel is just now done almost fin eating, almost done eating his chips. So, I would like for him to obsess about favorite band, and I would like for Lilac maybe to leave the conversation. So let's go and say goodbye, hopefully we can, yes, goodbye. Lucas needs to leave the conversation as well. Friendly, we need to say goodbye, where is goodbye? Here. And then I would like for Lucy and Emmanuel to go into this room, though there is someone in the bed. I'm actually going to have to remove that person here. Uh, let's go... Oh, mess around with Lucy. Sit and chat here, because he's only chatting with Lucy. The two of them just want to have some time together. Everyone is just having fun here, either watching TV, chatting with one another, or dancing away, so they won't see Emmanuel or Lucy sneaking out. And I don't even, I don't even think that... Evie saw anything. Oh, Eve is going away. Cool. Oh, she needs to pee. No, 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 no. Let's go and tickle mercilessly. Hopefully, go away. Thank you. Oh, he's so tired. So he's going to tickle her, and can we kiss her? Okay, wait a second. Oh, no, I would like to kiss her first before we ask about Woohoo. Let's go and kiss, and then maybe we can make out make out and we can mess around. Let's go and give a massage first. But this is, it's always there. He just wants to mess around with her and he just reached charisma level six. Also for his aspiration, he needs to have three first kisses. And I was thinking, oh my God, look at that. <laughs> um. Anyway, I I was thinking that maybe he could have someone else. I was thinking that maybe Lucy could catch him with someone else, you know, Emmanuel, he just now, he's now realizing that, oh, it's Ashley's birthday. Oh, we could have her celebrate her birthday for her. But Emmanuel is now realizing that he's not bad looking and that a lot of people are attracted to him and maybe he just wants to see his options, let's say. And, you know, he has his chances with Lucy, maybe he's going to get a chance with someone else and he's just going to seize it and unfortunately when he'll try to do something with that person maybe Lucy will happen to walk by and catch him cheating on her and she won't be happy and this is how he would dump her because he would be like hey I, I'm free I can do whatever I want so leave me alone <laughs> that would be so mean and it's been so long actually since I've had teens mess around Please go away. <gasps> Anna saw everything. She doesn't really seem to care though. And it's 3.30 in the morning. Are you kidding me, Emmanuel? It's so late. 
<laughs> so there you go, we have fooled around with someone, now we just need to dump her and move on. <laughs> this is so mean. I, I feel really bad actually about this. This is such a bad thing to do. So, actually no, you know what, don't go home right away, maybe you could at least hug her. Okay, let's see. We can romance. Um, we can hold hands and then we can go home. So he's really happy. What is this? Hot and heavy. Does he have a moodlet for this? No, he doesn't have a moodlet. It's not like woohoo. Mess around apparently doesn't give any moodlet for anybody. So yeah, he just said goodbye to Lucy. He's going to go home and we'll see if Allison is still awake. Emmanuel is back home, he's sleepy and stinky and Ashley is dancing, so he's going to go here and Richard is going to cut him. He's actually just waiting here, probably ready to yell to at Emmanuel and tell him what he thinks. I wonder where Alison is. Alison is outside, she's cooking. <laughs> Maybe to get her nerves, you know, just to calm her nerves. So let's go ahead and, uh, even though he's really tired, let's go and act off like, hey, I do whatever I want. Plus, you know, he just messed around, so he's definitely feeling very confident, even though, you know, he stinks and all. But yeah, things are just not going well, and Alison is coming back home. She's, she needs to spread nasty rumor. Uh, let's go and yell at. He's like, you cannot say anything to me, you cannot do anything to me. And Alison is probably coming over even though she really needs to pee. But he's going to demand independence because Alison is probably telling him, I told you to be home by 7 and here you are, it's 5 in the morning, we've waited for you the entire night and you weren't here, where were you? And Emmanuel is just going to tell them, well I was at a party and I was having fun. And I don't need you anymore. And she's being her herself in front of him. Oh, poor Allison. Oh, no. Actually, I would like to talk to Allison. Can we? He's going to be mean to his mom. I really want for him and, and Allison to argue. So he's going to argue about house rules. And probably later he's going to argue about... Actually, act off first. And then he's going to argue about the curfew. He just doesn't care about that anymore. He wants to be on his own. And Alison, she's like, no, 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 no. You're my son. You're you're still under my responsibility and under my watch. And you obey me because it's for your sake. It's for you to stay safe and be a responsible ad adult. You need to be careful and be... You need to be careful about the person you're becoming. Oh, no, he's passing out. I really wanted for him and Alison to dislike each other tonight, but he's just not in a good mood. His knees are going down so quickly. It's very frustrating. Well, maybe he can, you know, Alison, she realizes that he's just not in a good mood right now. She's going to probably lecture him tomorrow. Right now, he just needs to take a shower. And it's summer. Cool. So Ashley was born on the very first day of summer. That's really exciting. But yeah, Emmanuel, he's just going to take a shower, probably a bath actually, so that he can take a nap in it, and then he's going to go to sleep. And what I'm going to do, guys, is actually end this part here. Oh no, Ashley. Oh well. <laughs> this house is just a huge mess. Addison pees herself, she's hungry, she stinks. Emmanuel is just, I don't know why the knees are going down so quickly for the Sims in this household. But yeah, his relationship with his mom is definitely not going well, and Butter is very sad. She probably feels like things are not going well in this house, and she doesn't feel safe anymore. And Emmanuel is just getting tired of being yelled at and not being able to do what he wants to do. But you know, it's this weird and awkward teenage phase. But at least, you know, we've accomplished something for the goals that we have to achieve by the end of his teenage years. Now we just need to skip school a couple more times, be disliked by Allison and dump Lucy and then we'll be done with everything that we need to do for, for the teenage life stage of this challenge and then Emmanuel will be aging up into a young adult. So he has seven days to do all of those things. I feel so bad for Emmanuel, this is just a messy situation. And I really feel for him, because I understand why he does all of these things. I don't know if I'm explaining things well or not. I don't think I am, though, because I'm really bad at explaining things overall. But 
yeah, he just wants to do things his own way and his parents, he doesn't agree with what his mother is doing with her life right now, being with this guy that Emmanuel doesn't really like, doesn't really want to have in his life and he doesn't realize is now that he, Richard is actually a good person to his mother, but he just doesn't see that. Emmanuel doesn't see that. And Alison, she's trying her best, but she doesn't know, she doesn't know what to do to help her son. Look at that. She's just very embarrassed, probably because, you know, Ashley is here as well. <laughs> and she has to see all of this. But yeah, Alison also is getting tired of this situation. And I think she's going to snap and just yell at Emmanuel at some point and just be, be really mean to him because she's really disappointed in his behavior. But I truly believe that eventually Emmanuel will realize all the mistakes he has made as a teenager, or actually the mistakes that he's making right now, and I think he will try to amend himself and apologize to the people that he will hurt and that he has hurt already in the future. But we'll have to see that in, in quite a while, actually, because he's still a teen, he's still in this rebellious phase, but yeah, so... Sorry for all that rambling, I was just trying to make sure that I wasn't going too far on things, that it wasn't too ridiculous. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone!